Scott, surname meaning in history, presented by COADB.com, where you can obtain affordable genealogy research. Surname meaning? It is an English Scottish Irish habitational surname denoting someone who came from Scotland, derived from the Middle English word Scott. Early bears included Uhtred Scott of Kelso, Scotland in 1120, Roger Scott documented in Lincolnshire, England in 1150, Henry Le Scott in Scotland in around the year 1195, Aid Le Scott in 1221, Olive Saunders Scott in Lanarkshire, Scotland in 1296, Henry Lescott in Edinburgh in 1296, John Lescott in Haddington, Michael Lescott in Linlithgow, and Walter, Walter Lescott in Peeblesshire, Scotland in 1296. Noble high titles held, the family held numerous titles, starting with Sir David Scott being created Baron Buchluck in 1488. 1484, he was the son of Walter Scott of Branksholm and a descendant of Sir Michael Scott, who died at the Battle of Durham in 1346, and he himself was the son of Richard Scott, the first laird of Rand Kilburn, who died in 1320. One of David's descendants, Walter Scott, was created Lord Scott of Buchluck in Parliament in the year 1606. The Scott Baronetcy of Kew Green in the county of Middlesex was created in the Baronetage of England in 1653 for Sir William Scott. He was a Marquess in France. He had a title there. He was the grandson of John Scott, who had settled in Flanders. And the baronetcy became extinct upon the death of the fourth baronet, also named Sir William Scott, around the year 1775. Scott Baronetcy of Thurlstein in the county of Selkirk was created in the baronetage of Nova Scotia in 1666 for Sir Francis Scott. And he was succeeded, he was the son of Patrick Scott, who died in 1666, who we see here. And he was succeeded by his son, William, the second baronet, who was a Scottish lawyer and poet. And Sir Francis Scott, the third baronet, succeeded to the title of Lord Napier upon the death of his maternal grandmother. And he assumed the surname Napier in lieu of Scott. The Scott Baronancy of Ancrum in the county of Roxburgh was created in the baronetage of Nova Scotia in 1671 for Sir John Scott of Kirkstyle. Here we see a list of the baronets of Ancrum all the way through the seventh baronet, Sir William Monteith Scott, who died in 1902, as well as the family estate of Ancrum House. Scott Baronets, you have Great Bar in the county of Stafford, was created in 1806 for Sir Joseph Scott of Great Bar Hall a member of parliament for Worcester and High Sheriff of Staffordshire, the son of William Scott of Great Bar Hall. Here we see a list of the baronets all the way through the eighth baronet who died in 1980, as well as an old photograph of the family estate and seat of Great Bar Hall. Scott Baronetcy of Aberts Abbotsford in the county of Roxburgh was created in 1820 for the historian, novelist, poet, and playwright, Sir Walter Scott. And here we see the family estate of Abbotsford. Noble titles held, the Scott Baronetcy of Leitchet Minster in the county of Dorset was created in the Baronetage of the United Kingdom in 1821 for Sir Claude Scott of Sundridge Park in County Kent. He was a self-made entrepreneur in the corn trade and a member of parliament. Here we see a list of the baronets of Leichet Minster, all the way through the seventh baronet, Sir Robert Claude Scott, who died in 1961. And here we see the family estate of Leichet Minster. And here we see the Scott Baronetcy of Connaught Place in the county of London. It was created in 1899 for Sir Edward Arthur Murray Scott secretary to Sir Richard Wallace and the eldest son of Dr. John Scott, a physician uh, from France. James Scott, a Dutch-born English military officer and the illegitimate son of King Charles II of England, was elevated to the peerage as Duke of Monmouth with the subsidiary titles of Earl of Doncaster and Baron Scott of Tyndale in 1663. He was made Duke of Buchluch upon his marriage to Anne Scott 
and he was beheaded for treason in 1685. James Scott, born 1675, son of James Scott, the first Duke, was created Earl of Dalkeith. And then another creation, or perhaps I have an error here, Francis Scott, born 1721, a member of Parliament and the son of Francis Scott's second Duke, it says here was created Earl of Dalkeith. Earl of Deloraine was a title created in the Peerage of Scotland in 1706 for Major General Henry Scott, the second surviving son of James Scott, the first Duke of Monmouth. John Scott, a British barrister and politician, was elevated to the Peerage of Great Britain as Baron Eldon and Viscount Encombe in 1799. He was further elevated to Earl of Eldon in 1821. John Scott, Lord Chief of the King's Bench for Ireland, was elevated to the peerage as Baron Earlsfort in 1784 and Viscount Clonmel in 1789 and finally Earl of Clonmel in 1793. Walter Scott of Highchester was elevated to the peerage of Scotland as Baron Almore and Earl of Terrace. In 1660, he was the son of Sir Gideon Scott of Highchester and the grandson of Sir William Scott of Hardin, who died in 1655 and was the Sheriff of Selkirk. And one of the estates that they owned was Minto House in Haywick, seen here. Sir William Scott, a Scottish politician and judge, was granted the title Lord Clerkington in 1649. He was son of Lawrence Scott of Harprig, who was clerk to the Privy Council. And here we see Thomas Scott, the second Laird of Mullany, and John Scott, the third Laird of Mullany. And here we see the family estate of Mullany House. And it looks like lastly, William Scott, English judge and jurist, was elevated to the peerage in 1821 as Baron Stowell of Stowell Park, which we see here. Now on to the landed gentry. There was Scott of Betton Strange in County Shropshire. They were re represented in the 19th century by George Jonathan Scott. Scott of Great Bar in Rattlingthorpe and Norbury. Scott of Rotherfield Park in Southampton, England, represented in the 19th century by George Arthur Gervois Scott. Scott of Brotherton in County Kin. Kincardine, Scotland, represented in the 19th century by Hercules Scott, a Justice of the Peace, Deputy Lieutenant, and Captain of Artillery Volunteers. The family is said to descend from Scott of Logie in County Forfar. Scott of Gala in County Selkirk, descended from Sir Walter Scott of Harden, and were represented by John Henry Francis Kinnard Scott in the 19th century. And here we see Major Hugh Scott of Gala, born 1822, son of John Scott, the eighth Laird, or Lord. Scott of Rayburn, represented in the 19th century by Robert Scott. And here we see the family state of Luce House in St. Boswell's. Scott of Willsboro in County Londonderry in Northern Ireland, represented in the 19th century by William Edward Scott. And they descended from the Reverend Gideon Scott of Oxford, who went to Ireland as a chaplain in King William's army in 1688. Scott of Watchope. Scott of Anne Grove Abbey in Queens County in Ireland, or is that Northern Ireland? I'd have to look. They descended from Captain James Scott, an officer in King William III's army that settled in Ireland around the year 1690 and purchased the seat of Annengrove Abbey. Notables included Michael Scott, born around the year 1175, a Scottish mathematician and scholar in the Middle Ages. Sir John Scott of Scotts Hall and Smith, who died in 1485. He was comptroller to the household of King Edward IV. And one of his descendants here, Sir Thomas Scott, born 1535 of Scott's Hall in Kent, a member of Parliament and the son of Sir Reginald Scott, Sheriff of Kent and Captain of Calais. 
And here we see his son, Sir Thomas, or I'm sorry, Sir John Scott, born 1564, an English soldier and member of Parliament. And here we see the family estate of Scott's Hall, as well as the family's coat of arms featuring three Catherine wheels. Major General John Scott, born 1725 of Balcombe and Scott Starvett in Scotland, was a Scottish politician and senior British Army officer. He was nicknamed Pawkey Scott, and Pawkey in Scott's dialect means sly, shrewd, or one who tricks you. He was born at Balcombe Castle, and he inherited Scott's Tarvet Tower, and also purchased or inherited Bellevue Lodge. Sir John Scott, born 1841, was an English judge who became, among other titles, Deputy Judge Advocate General. David Scott, born 1746, of Dun Dunanald Castle in Angus. He was a Scottish merchant and director of the East India Company. And here we see Dunanald Castle. Admiral Sir James Scott, born 1790, a British Royal Navy officer. He served in the Napoleonic Wars, the War of 1812, and the First Opium War. James Scott, born 1733, was an English cleric, academic, and political writer. And early settlers included Nicholas Scott, who came to Jamestown in 1607. Walter Scott came aboard the Hercules in 1618. Afia Scott came in 1618. Robert Scott came in 1630. Martha in 1634. Elizabeth in 1635. James in 1635. Jane Scott came aboard the Timus and John and arrived in 1635. John Scott came aboard the Falcon in 1635. And William Scott came aboard the George in 1635. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, where we offer genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.